In this chapter, we review the all-important color wheel, also known as the Oswald star. To get a complete understanding of natural pigments, the color wheel is essential, just as with conventional dyes. The basic principles remain the same, but there is a slight difference in how we approach the color wheel. The primary colors are cyan, magenta, and yellow. Since cyan and magenta are very hard to achieve, the closest colors, namely blue and red, are used. Most hairdressers have implemented this variant in the form of a blue, red, and yellow palette. The combination of these primary colors produces the so-called secondary colors. Blue and yellow become green. Red and yellow become orange. Red and blue become purple. Together, the primary and secondary colors form a six-fold circle segment called the Oswald star. When one color of the circle segment is combined with the opposite color of precisely the same intensity, they cancel each other out. For example, you can get very light to dark browns by playing around with varying degrees of intensity. Regarding natural plant dye, the neutralization principle is also slightly adapted. Blues and greens represent indigo, whereas reds and oranges represent henna. Therefore, there is no neutralization crossover. Indigos neutralize henna. Red, orange, and yellow are strong underlying pigments and affix easily to the hair, resulting in shorter processing times. Blue, green, and purple pigments, on the other hand, are weaker and have a harder time affixing to the hair, resulting in longer processing times. It's important to keep in mind the strength of each pigment during a single application and be very careful about your mixing ratios. Even if used in small doses, the stronger pigment can easily take the upper hand. 